Namaste everyone. World Space Week was from October 4 to October 10 and Advitya and I were very enthused about it. She of course doesn't know yet <laughs> that she was very enthusiastic about it, but she's really enthusiastic about this moon ball <laughs> which she tries very hard <laughs> to hit hard enough so that it changes color. All right, I have to thank my employer Instahire for this really lovely decor gift which actually ties in with our interest in space exploration, right? Okay, so talking about uh, usual things, uh, we are headed back to the moon on the Artemis program by NASA. And uh, the International Space Station developed a leak. Actually, one of the Russian modules developed a leak. And uh, it was pretty uh, exciting to know that uh, the kind of dilemmas that astronauts face when they are all the way up 400 kilometers above our heads uh, in low Earth orbit, as they say. Uh, but uh, thankfully, it was all very well handled. Finally, the Psyche mission to a metal asteroid launches today, if all goes well, if weather permits. And uh, it will be launched atop a Falcon Heavy from SpaceX. And SpaceX, of course, just continues to break records of uh, both reusable rocket launches with their Falcon uh, family of rocket boosters, which are reusable and uh, pretty much autonomously land on drone ships, uh, many of which have, in fact, all of which have very nice names uh, like uh, You Know I Love You and uh, uh, I forget, uh, Of Course I Love You. I think that was the name of the uh, floating drone ship. And uh, of course, sometimes they land their boosters back at the launch pad as well. Uh, but that is a rarity because generally the trajectory of the boosters takes them out over the ocean where the drone ships wait, them, wait for them to land. All right. Uh, apart from that, the OSIRIS-REx space probe came back with a sample from an asteroid. And those samples have uh, turned out to have good amounts of carbon and water. So the surprising thing about that and the... Uh, initial conclusion that we can draw from that or one of the theories that we can speculate from that is that the building blocks of life were carried to earth in its prehistory billions of years ago by asteroids or comets and of course such a theory has uh, been around as long as astronomy and uh, the life sciences have been around but uh, getting a sample back from an asteroid all the way into the Utah desert was, of course, an achievement, uh, which is not to be taken lightly. Okay, speaking of light, let there be light. And uh, uh, we got a lot of uh, good things going on during the space week uh, that went by. Uh, there was an India space week back in August as well. Uh, but uh, I think it was more about educating and uh, uh, awakening the interest in space exploration among children and uh, school students, which is really great because our next generation is quite well poised to uh, not just explore space, but to utilize its uh, potential in improving life on Earth and business potential as well. So I was reading about something which uh, Indian startups are doing in uh, launching uh, satellites to lower orbit and using the data, uh, leveraging the data, commercializing the data from remote sensing satellites and other uh, uh, Earth observation satellites that we are going to be launching. All right. So I guess that was it for a little short wrap up of uh, what's going on in the World Space Week. Also, the James Webb Space Telescope has been studying a system called TRAPPIST-1 which has almost seven Earth-sized planets uh, which revolve around a volatile red dwarf star. So that is something that uh, always remains of interest when we can find exoplanets that might be able to support life. Not that we are going to be able to travel over there in a few generations or even a couple of centuries, uh, but who knows what happens because the past is history. The future is a mystery. <laughs> and uh, with that, I shall draw this uh, video to a close. Thank you so much for watching. Do check out my other space exploration videos. And uh, let's see. I'm hoping that uh, the Artemis uh, mission, the first mission of which uh, was a pretty big good success, 
uh, will manage to take us back to the moon and establish uh, human presence on the moon. ISRO, of course, deserves a special mention. So if you are from India, thank you for watching this far because ISRO, of course, is a huge feather in our space exploration cap. We continue to push the boundaries of what can be done with limited resources. And I'm hoping that India's space tech industry will take off literally and figuratively uh, in the coming decades as Advitya grows up, right? Okay, so with that, add Astra. And like I said, check out my space exploration playlist. It's linked in the card in the corner. And uh, Advitya is enjoying her moonlight. So should you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Smash that sub button for awesome acts fun. We are the Akshats. I'm Aradhya. This is Advitya saying goodbye. Take care. Shoot for the stars. And do check out my science fiction novel. The link is in the description. It's set on the moon and Mars.